What is insulin resistance and why does it cause fatigue, cravings, and weight gain? Hi, I'm Dr. Becky from drbeckyfitness.com. I'm a college instructor on the science of nutrition. Today, I'm going to explain what insulin resistance is and why it's such a problem for your body. Insulin, it's a hormone that comes from your pancreas. It's very important to your metabolism because it tells your body what to do with the carbohydrates that you eat. Carbohydrates, when you eat them, are broken down in your digestive system into sugar. A type of sugar goes into your blood called glucose. When the pancreas sees glucose in your blood, it sends insulin over. Insulin's job then is to carry that glucose to one of three cells. Your liver cells, your muscle cells, or your fat cells. When it arrives, it becomes a doorman. Its job is to open up the doors of these cells so that glucose can go in. This does two things. First of all, it gets rid of excess glucose in your blood. That's a much more desirable state for your body. And also, it delivers glucose to your cells where it can be stored for energy. Now, when you're insulin resistant, your cells don't respond to insulin like they're supposed to. Insulin carries its glucose up to the cell, knocks on the door, and the door doesn't open. This creates two problems. Now we have excess glucose accumulating in the blood. That's chronic high blood glucose or prediabetes. Also, the cells don't have their energy source. So you end up feeling low on energy and you crave carbohydrates because the carbohydrates that are present can't be seen by the cells. The pancreas now takes one last ditch effort by trying to increase how much insulin it's sending into the blood to match up all this glucose. The problem now is that you have high insulin or a chronic high insulin state. When insulin is present in your bloodstream, it's very hard for you to burn fat. It also encourages fatty acids that are floating around in the blood to go into fat storage. So when you're insulin resistant, you're low on energy, you crave carbohydrates, and weight gain is much easier. So you have a problem. What do you do about it? Well, insulin resistance can be corrected with proper sleep, exercise, and diet. Sleep de uh, deprivation causes your cells to be less sensitive to insulin, so make sure you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Exercise helps glucose to go into your muscle cells, and that's going to keep your blood glucose levels under control. And diet, specifically carbohydrates. Be smart with your carbo carbohydrate choices. Think of carbohydrates that are hard to break down. The difference between a hard candy and a carrot. You take a hard candy, you put it in your mouth, you don't have to do anything and it, and it will dissolve. That will get into your, your bloodstream very quickly. Whereas compared to a carrot, you have put that in your mouth, you have to chew and chew and chew to break that down. That's going to go into your bloodstream very slow, give you a nice steady flow of glucose, which is what you want. There you have a quick explanation on insulin resistance. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or better yet, head on over to drbeckyfitness.com where I share four daily habits that will help you get past insulin resistance and make weight loss so much easier. Thanks for watching.